in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to bless you well this afternoon. I want to wish every one of you that is looking up to Dunamis on here a welcome and a happy new month. Welcome to the month of February. It will be your month of greatness and your early manifestation of the way in the name of Jesus. While I pray with you right now, I would like you to talk your friends, call your colleagues, your loved ones, and tell them that Dunamis on A is live right now. Tell them to hook up right now, and God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for bringing us to the month of February. Thank you for what you're doing through Dunamis on Air. I ask that you bless my viewers all over the world today. Let everyone that will be a partaker of this particular Dunamis on Air encounter early intervention, early miracles encounter in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, invade and transform everyone that is doing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I want to believe that you have enjoyed our teachings that we have and that you are actually working on it. You are also applying it to your life and making it transform your life. Last month we were on a series on forming new habits. And I want to believe that you're already on that process of changing the old habits and imbibing the new one. That is key to the happiness of the new year. Make sure you listen to the message again and again and again and apply them to your life and then form new habits and then you are on your journey to having a better year than every other year. This, this, act, act, this particular episode, I'll be starting a series on walking in dominion 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 last night a brother met me and shared with me a particular experience that he had with an occultic landlord and he, he kept explaining and lamenting that the landlord is chasing him the landlord is attacking him the landlord is projecting poison, projecting madness, and all manners of things. And after he lamented, I was worried. Are you not supposed to be a Christian? I asked him, by your position in Christ Jesus, don't you know that you are the one to be attacking the landlord? You are the one to be chasing the evil landlord? You are the one to be putting the enemy on the run? So he downed on me that majority of believers all over the world don't understand the, the, their position in Christ Jesus and they don't actually realize that God has given them dominion so this month by the special grace of God by the help of the Holy Spirit I'll be bringing the Word of God your way and we'll be dealing with how to walk in dominion walking in dominion I'll take my text from the book of Psalms chapter 8 I read from verses 3 to 6 Psalms chapter 8 verses 3 to 6 He said, When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, and the stars, thou hast ordained. He said, What is man that thou art mindful of him, the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Take note of that. Thou makest him or madest him to have dominion over the work of thine hands. He said, Thou hast put all things, not some things, all things under his feet. If you read Hebrews chapter 2, verses 6 to 8, the Bible repeats it in the New Testament exactly what we have just read. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thine hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet talking about you and I God has made us to have dominion over the work of his hands dominion over creation dominion over Satan dominion over devils dominion over circumstances dominion over situations Bible says that God had put all things take note of that all things under our feet all things under our feet say after me say god has made me to have dominion over the work of his hands 
say all things are put under my feet. Say after me, say all things are put under my feet. Say God made me to have dominion over the work of his hands. God has put all things under my feet. Poverty, sickness, barrenness, devils, Satan, they are all under my feet in Christ Jesus. If you believe that, say a living amen. Yes, say a big amen. Walking in dominion. Dominion actually means authority to rule and control. Authority to rule, authority and to control. Dominion means you are licensed to be in charge. God has licensed you to be in charge. God has given you authority to control, authority to rule. Dominion means that you are mandated to reign and to have supremacy. You are mandated by heaven to reign on earth and to have supremacy over all things. Over supremacy over demons, supremacy over Satan, supremacy over creation, supremacy over situations, supremacy over circumstances that's what it means authority to control authority to rule it means license to be in charge yes it means mandated to reign and have supremacy over all things including satan including demons including creation including the elements of this world including situations including circumstances you can rule over that ugly situation you can be in charge and change whatever that is not favorable to you you see in life there are situations circumstances that Satan will orchestrate that will be contrary to our decision contrary to our direction in life you must recognize that you have the power and the authority to say no to the devil say no to those situations say no to those circumstances and have it the way you want it as far as it is in line with the will of god for your life imagine a woman having miscarriages the first time second time the third time and then the fourth time the fifth time you are a child of god you have capacity to control it you can tell it to stop and it will stop you have authority you have been licensed and mandated to reign over that circumstance and it's circumstance that is contrary to your expectation contrary to the will of god for your life you can have the dominion over it you can rule over it you can control it you can have the mastery over it you don't allow situations rule you you rule situations you don't allow life happen to you you happen to life you don't allow life control you you control life as a child of god you have demanded directly conferred on you by god to rule to control to reign to be in charge to have the supremacy don't say whatever comes that's the will of god no 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 you are being given the authority you say thou has made all things to be under his feet thou art given dominion to him over the work of his hands everything that god has created including your blood your bones, your cells, your organs, your tissues, all of them are the works of God's hands. You have been given dominion over them. Some time ago, I was reacting to a food I ate, and I began purging and purging and purging and purging and purging that drugs could not handle it. And suddenly, I was awakened to the consciousness of my dominion mandate. And I exercised authority. I said, "Urging, stop in the name of Jesus." And that happened to be a service day. How do I stand on the altar ministering with the purging situation? And believe you me, as soon as I exercised dominion and authority, the purging stopped. What drugs couldn't handle? The dominion I have in Christ Jesus handled it. As little as purging is, you can have dominion, rule it. There are circumstances that are not favorable to you. You can have dominion and rule over it. Several years ago, I read a book like A Mighty Russian Wind, written by Mel Tari. And I saw how believers had dominion that they can command the rain to stop. 
and the rain stopped. They can command the moon to shine at the middle of the night, and the moon will shine, and they will find their way to where we're going as missionaries. When I read this book and compared it with scriptures, it became obvious that the Bible is, is true. If you are a child of God, you can stop miscarriage. You can lay hands on your womb in the name of Jesus and say, womb, conceive this month. And the womb must conceive this. It's not just to prepare to pastors. If you are a child of God, God has given you dominion over the work of his hands. He has put all things under you, under you, under you. You have what it takes to put that situation under you. You have what it takes to master that situation. You have what it takes to rule over that situation. I, have they given you a report? You say your BP is high. You can make your BP to be normal. Yes. A, a precious woman, a Christian, a worker, is a member of the redeemed family, a children teacher, shared a story with me a few weeks ago. 2014 she had her first baby through surgical operation and then 2016 she got pregnant again and went through surgery this time around she lost the baby and there were complications she stayed at the hospital for three months before she could return from the hospital she lost the first son and before she could also return from the hospital her husband ran away now she is discharged from the hospital 2016 and from 2016 she had been living in pain every month because of the complications of the surgery and she has not been seeing her menstrual cycle right from 2016 to 2018 and she cried to me that she has gone to see her doctor and her doctor is saying that the only way she can see her menstrual cycle is by surgery that they need to conduct another surgery on her to correct the error and she was crying, Pastor, I don't want another surgery. I could understand with her the pains. What about the money? And so on and so forth. So I asked her, what do you want? She said, I know that God can do it for me. And we agreed in prayer and exercise dominion over our organs, over our systems, over our tissues. And to the glory of God, God performed a surgery cycle began to run again normally after about two years you have dominion you can change it if you don't like it you can change it if you don't want it don't watch set and drive your life in a particular direction and you are just watching and say i can't do anything no you can do something you can change that tide you can change that tide are you in business and every day you go out and you come back empty hand you go out and you come back empty hand no you can change it you have dominion and you have authority is it in your marriage and you don't like the behavior of your husband or the behavior of your wife or the behavior of your children you can change it god has given you dominion over the work of his hands god has put all things under your feet yes all things under your feet i read a beautiful story of a precious woman recently he said her husband was carrying women everywhere sleeping with all manners of women and then one day the man came home and saw or the woman came home and saw the man with another woman and then the woman didn't didn't react the woman stretched forth her hands as a child of God and said to the man, he said, from today, your manhood will not walk outside our matrimonial home in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and that was the end. The man thought it was a joke. Every time the man wants to go out, the manhood will die. He will come home and start fighting the woman. You are a witch. You are this. You are that. You Whatever you did to me, change it. No, the woman didn't correct the man. She exercised dominion. She took authority and that was the end. There is nothing that you are passing through now 
that you have not been licensed to control. You can control the flow of money in your direction. You can control how many hours you sleep. You can control the flow of customers to your shop. It is very possible. Now, I want you to read that scripture again. The last sentence. He said, Thou hast made him to have dominion over the work of thine hands. Over whatever God has made, you can have dominion over it. The Bible said, Thou hast put all things under his feet. Everything. He's talking to you. He's talking to me. If you are a child of God, Becoming a child of God is more than going to heaven. Yes. As a child of God, it is coming into a place of dominion. Becoming born again is gaining authority to rule. Salvation is to, to reign, to have the supremacy over Satan, over demons, over situations, over circumstances. Stop crying for your situation. Stop surrendering to the situation and life situation is turning you upside down. You can put a stop to it. That's what we'll be learning this month. God is telling you and I, you must be aware of it, that he has given you dominion over the work, everything that God has made. He has given you dominion over them. Everything that God has made has been put subject to you. They are subject to you. They are subject to you. They are subject to you. We don't we we have dominion. We have dominion. You must recognize that you have that dominion. Is is in is in your spirit as a child of God. Say after me, say I have dominion. Say after me, I am going to have dominion over everything this year. Say I will control what I don't like to work in my favor. Say it again. I will have supremacy over things that are contrary to my expectation say a living amen this is just introduction but don't forget this scripture that god has made all things to be under your feet god has given you dominion over the work of his hands never forget that in our church by the grace of god we have seen people anoint cars yes they anoint a car with anointing oil and the car that was damaged start working we've seen people anoint televisions and television start working. Everything responds to the dominion we have in Christ Jesus. Yes, we have seen it work. We have seen it work. We've seen people exercise authority on the spirit of death. And the dead will come back to life. Just because they are aware and conscious of the circumstances or of the authority that they have come into as children of God. I will leave you with this statement. That God made man as a king of the earth. What I'm talking about is his children. God made man as king of the earth. Just as he, heaven, he created us after his image and likeness so that we can rule on the earth. So man is king here on earth. The earth is man's domain. The earth is man's kingdom. Because every king has a domain. If you read Psalm 115 verse 16, the heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. The heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. So we are kings to be in charge on the earth. What we don't like, we have been licensed to change it. We have been licensed to change it. If you are a child of God, Remember that Jesus is the king of kings. He is the ultimate king. And we, his children, we are kings on the earth. Yes, we are kings on the earth. We can rule. The Bible says he is the Lord of lords. He is the ultimate Lord. And we are lords under him. As long as under you are under the influence of the kingdom of God. You are under God. You have dominion. You have power to rule. You have power for supremacy. Haven't you read in the book of Revelation chapter 5? The Bible says that he has made us kings and priests. And we shall rule on the earth. We shall reign on the earth. We won't reign in heaven only. We will reign here on earth. So as children of God, we have dominion. What is it that you want to effect change on? Is it your health? Is it your relationship? Is it over our customers? 
what is it that you want to control to work in your favor as long as it's in line with scriptures you can change it look at joshua he commanded the son to stand still in the old testament look at elijah he demanded that the the heavens they, they be, be be shot from rain for three and a half years and creation obeyed him in the old testament they were not born again they were not seated together with christ in heavenly places they didn't have the authority that the kind of authority that we have today we have a better covenant that is established upon better promises you can change your children's grade in school you can change it you can exercise dominion over his brain or her brain and then that child will begin to perform excellently well in school don't watch your life go in a direction that you don't want learn to exercise authority learn to use the dominion that you have in christ jesus i will come your way again next week by the special grace of god i want to believe with you that this is an interesting topic i want to believe that this is what you have always wanted to learn how to see things go the way you want it the way god said it the way god desired it how to be in charge how to take control how to have the do to supremacy don't miss the next episode above all recommend this teaching to somebody else this may be the only answer to the person's question this may be a solution to the person's problem encourage them to listen again and again encourage them to compare it with scriptures and believe that they have been made for dominion say after me say i am made for dominion i've been licensed to rule mandated to be in charge and this year i will take charge and things will change in my favor in the mighty name of jesus christ if you are not born again this message i'm bringing to you is not for you it's for god's children whose sins are washed by the blood and they have eternal life the god type of life in their spirit and they are seated together with christ in heavenly places to be born again is very simple you must believe that jesus is the son of god that he died in your place he went to hell and god raised him from dead when you believe with in your heart and confess with your mouth god is definitely going to save you it's going to be instantly your sins will be forgiven and you have eternal life so wherever you are you want to be born again or you want to rededicate your life to jesus say this prayer with me with faith and confidence say father i come to you in the name of jesus i believe in jesus he is your son he died for my sins he was buried and you raised him from dead he's alive now jesus i receive you as my lord as my savior with your blood wash my sins away jesus save me I receive eternal life by faith i am born again thank you lord for accepting me back satan i renounce you i belong to jesus amen you pray that prayer pronounce your sins forgiven i declare you a child of god in the name of jesus wherever you're watching me from i want to exercise dominion against contrary situations and circumstances I want to exercise dominion by the power in the name of Jesus to change everything that you don't like that is contrary to the will of God. So touch that particular screen, touch the machine you're watching from and just believe that a miracle is about to happen to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every viewer right now all over the world that is hooking up to me on air, exercise dominion, authority, over cancer, over HIV, over barrenness, over miscarriage. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over joblessness. I take authority over delay in marriage. I command in the name that is above every other name. Let those situations change right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I exercise dominion authority against the principalities and powers behind these cases. Satan, I rebuke you and your devils. Take your hands off them, off their cases right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the authority of Satan, devils, and evil over your spiritual and body. I command you destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
I declare that your desire is hereby granted. I declare that miracle healing is your portion right now. I command overwhelming power of God to make you fruitful, be pregnant. I declare that early marriages are released for you in the name of Jesus. I command miracle jobs for every businessman. I declare open doors for opportunities for contracts. Recommendations is coming your way by favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone whose child is not doing well at school, I demand that the anointing of the Holy Spirit overwhelm the child's brain for excellence. I command the performance of that child to be improved in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is having crisis in marriage and relationship, I command let it cease right now. I command it turn around to your relationships, turn around to your marriages in the mighty name of Jesus. You that have bills to pay and you're wondering where the resources is coming from, I command that the, 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 the dominion of heaven will be imposed over finances right now. I command strange money, money from strange receive miracle alert under 48 hours. Let there be miracle transfer in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I take authority against sleeplessness. You have not been able to sleep at night. I declare in the name of Jesus by the dominion of the Holy Spirit. I declare beginning from this afternoon. May you receive heaven's anointing to sleep and let it be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. You that is looking at me and you are about to deliver and the dead doctor is giving you a wrong report. I change that report under 48 hours, 72 hours. In the next three days, I declare let doctor's report be set aside. May you deliver normally in the mighty name of Jesus. Command the angels of God, whose I am and whom I serve, to clear obstacles your way. Whatever was a barrier to your early manifestation of miracles, I declare it rolled away in the name of Jesus. I declare before I see you on Tuesday, you will have a testimony to share as a result of this particular dynamics on air. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your life will go in the direction of God's will this year, even in the direction of your expectation. I take back your life from the control of the devil and I declare the whole of witches and wizards, marine powers, they are broken over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your document that need endorsement. I command God's favor on those documents. It shall be endorsed in your favor. I put the authorities under pressure and righteousness that the outcome shall be favorable this week. Favorable this week. Favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Woman, the last menstrual cycle you saw will be the very last for the next nine months. God said, I should tell you that he has visited you in the, in the order of Sarah, the order of Hannah, Elizabeth. You'll be pregnant this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command doctors report reverse by a miracle right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to believe that you have a testimony right now. You must share your testimony. Right now, sicknesses are leaving your body. I'm seeing movement of the body, body pains is gone in the name of jesus send in your testimonies tell us what god is doing for you and above all recommend dunamis on air this particular video clip shake it to someone and god is going to multiply your miracles in the mighty name of jesus tell us where where you're watching from and i want to invite all of you viewing me right now to join our ongoing new year fasting it started the 1st of February and it's going to continue till the end of February. The prayer points are online every day. You can also send us your expectation, your vision, your dreams for the year 2018 so that we can join you in prayer. You can send it through the church email. You can go to our, our online platform and get the address. Mail us your expectation and we'll be praying alongside with you. And surely you will have miracles and testimony to share you can pray and fast six to one six to three six to six as your strength can carry you but ensure that you are joining the prayer section and you will, your life will never be the same again till i come your way again next week by the grace of god don't forget that whatever god can do was meant to happen to you and it has already happened because you keep watching dunamis on the shalom